Oi, how you going people? Only made it back over the Cape. It's a Monday, so nobody's here, just about. One or two boats. One kind bloke's pulled me up, gave me a few beers. Thanks for that, Will. Cheers, mate, cheers. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a troll. See if there's any late season mackies in close. Will got a couple. Um, the water, not as blue as I'd like it. But it's flat as I'd like it. Anyway, it beats in the dome. We'll give it a shot. Hi right, guys. I don't know what's on there, but... Got a hit there, but I don't think it was too big. Not even gone. Might be gone. I don't know. Something there. And he hit, took a bit of drag and and became a dead weight. Hopefully it's not a shark. Sometimes I get some nice coral trout and do that. It's up high. It's got a bit of weight. Not doing great down. Oh, it's better a fucking cooter. Spanish or Cuda? I think it's a Cuda. Bloody Cuda. <sighs> Bait thieving mongrels. <sighs> Not what you want. Not what you want at all. Oh. Careful. Fucking bastard. Long nose pliers just aren't long enough sometimes. <laughs> now I'm a bit winky. Losing blood. Ooh. He doesn't keeps this up you'll be crab bait. <sighs> Get out of here you mongrel. Oh. Oh. It's open me up. Oh well, we better get some electrical tape or something onto that. Oh, Ooh, shit. Deeper than I thought. Oh well. Let's look for the band-aids. There you go guys, you gotta, gotta watch yourself. Try to do the right thing and let them go, but 
That's hurting them and they bloody bite you. I'll get that band-aid on and she'll be right. I don't think it'll need a stitch, but we'll see later on. Good as gold. Alright guys, I see a lot on social media, a lot of people getting on the fishing pages. Basically, what's it like out in the front? Anybody been out? Where the man says this, I think it might be that. Blah, blah, blah. One thing you can do is you can jump on the internet. There's a heap of information on there. It can help you decide what you want to do, where you can go, what it's like. Jump on a site called the Townsville Wave Boy. It'll come up and it's a little boy that sits out the back of Salamander. About a kilometre off the back of Sally and it measures how high the waves are. And you can get an accurate take on what's actually happening in real time. So that's Salamander's back in there. This is the wave boy. It's been hit before. Before it'll get hit again. It sits out here, measures the waves. The average height, the biggest waves, probably has a sea temperature on there as well. What you got to take into account though, it says it's a metre out here, it might be a metre and a half back in closer to the cape, because the water gets a bit shallower. If it comes in shallow, it stands up a bit more. You also got the Ames cameras, Australian Institute of Marine Science. They got cameras on the coastline, real time cameras. They're pointing into the bay, you can have a look and see how choppy it is. As well as your four different weather sites. Alright, just, just a little tip. Alright guys, the water's a bit dirty inside the cape. Along the front there, it was like a real greeny colour. Went out to Sally, a bit better. There was no bait action. I moved out to the shoals, about 10, 10 or 12 k's out, beautiful seas. In the middle of the day, so we're not really at the right peak time, but we're out here giving it a go. What else are you going to do on a Monday? All around here, see if we can mark up some bait schools. If we can find the fish, we might even have to drop some slugs down to them if they won't come up for the wolfies. So then I might have to anchor up, save fuel until later on the Savi, pack up for an hour or two, and then start again. Righto, see how we go. So you can see here on the sounder, we call the Mac patches. I started off with just one mark to get myself out here and all those little dots that's where I've seen bait schools had hits and landed fish so over a couple of seasons I've made a little area now I concentrate my effort in that area that's just generally how we find it hello guys we're on I think we're on. Did he get off? Oh, no, he's still there. coming towards us. So we're at the shoals, so we don't expect them to be overly big. We we'll usually get some good ones, but they're generally school size out here. Some would say perfect eating. You never know. Ooh. No, 
not the shock that's gonna do. It's a road indeed. It's fat. Not bad at all. Middle of the day, boys. You know, there's a definite bite period in the morning and late in the hour though, but get out there and give a go when you can. And there's no way I'm putting my fingers close to that. <laughs> Old Barracuda got me this morning. That won't be happening again. It's in somewhere. Somewhere about there. That's it. And hit the brain. He's dead. So all you gotta do is put him out. Right there, let's get him on ice. The other thing I've got to say is when you go out Michael fishing, take plenty of ice. Look at the colours in that. Don't, don't skip on the ice guys. More people get, get sick from bloody fish that hasn't been iced down than they do cigatera. Alright, I get people messaging me um, how do you rig your wolfies? Use gangs, I see you got trebles. No, I don't use gangs. I have used gangs. I had a bit of bad luck with them. I tried this method. That's how I do it. Pull the gills open, you find the centre. Poke it through. Gonna be the hardest bony bit. Try and get it in the middle. That one's alright, that one's a bit off. Let's pull it back. Reposition it. That's that'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get it down down fairly down the middle. Alright, and you got your, your rig you've made up the night before. You lay them out. Rubber band around here, straight around the chin, holds his head on there, bang, done. Another rubber band, you go around your hand, you go slide him straight up to you, bang, done. Next one, flip him out straight, go along the bottom. Done. Depends how big your wolfy is, how many hooks you got, similar to the gangs. That's done. And a small one for the damper tail. 
That's it, ready to go. Alright, we're gonna get this out. I don't know if that's a shark hanging underneath us or what, but boat into gear. Wolfie over. See how he swims. Right, eh? That'll do. He's not spinning, that's all we need. Barrel arm open, drop him back slow. You just let it all pile out, your rig will twist up. Be no good. But watch yourself when you're doing this. Those mackerel will hit it as he's gone down. In this case, a big shark. Like I've told you before, I like to put one long. So if I need to do a tight turn, I don't have to worry about any getting tangles. out where I want him. That'll do. Take your drag. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Didn't even get a chance to put the other one out. Ugh. Holy dooly. Just like that. Yeah boy. Got the nib as the boys would say, got the nib. Bending. <laughs> Didn't even go 100 metres. Just hope he's a mackerel and not a shark. Just want to get a few wines on, just pump him up smoothly. You see people doing these ones. You don't want to do these ones. If you do that, your rod's going to break sooner or later. Out here by myself. Couldn't be better. Well, it could be better. Feel me, mates, here would be good. Oh, it's... There he goes. There he goes. Shot up to the surface. Just hope the sharks stay away. They've been pretty bad lately. Smoked. Come on, give us a look. Give us a look at you. We've still got a tail beat, so that's the main thing. He's coming up. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, there's a lot of something going on there. Oh, he might have got sharks. He might have got sharked. No tail beat there. Yeah, he's been 
gunshot. Ah, oh, body shocks. Give me back that mackerel. Oh. oh, this is gonna kill me. Body shocks. 20 bucks worth of rig down the tube. All right, let's get this fella on ice. All right, guys. See what he's doing there? That's not. That's how you don't want him to do. If you do that, it'll just twist up your line. Your line will be buggered after half an hour trolling like that. You want to bring him in. Have a look at him. See those top wires aren't too straight, so you bend them back around a bit. Try them again. Get a bit of line out. It's almost. Stopped him from stopped him from twirling. Probably go a little bit more. Keep adjusting them to like so it looks like it's swimming all right. You don't have to be too pedantic about it, as long as he's not spitting. See, he's still on his side a bit. That doesn't worry me. He's coming level, but he's going back out the side. As long as he doesn't spin. Not perfect, but that'll do me. So the idea of getting them one long and one short, I'm a bit out of my area. I want to do a fairly sharp turn. Now this one's going to stay on the inside he's going to come over the top way out the back turn me boat around head back to me mark see he's still straight that one's way out that way straighten them up back her off see this one's short here that one's still still long that way Tommy catches up with that one, this one will be well past it. There's a couple of marks there, between two and two. There we go. There we go. swimming this way so I'll just keep the fucking pressure going he's 
Stays up high, might be a chance from the sharks. Come back here, mate. Come on, mate. Let me save you from the sharks. <laughs> Saved you, mate. I saved you from the sharks. <laughs> oh, yeah, over the rocks. Oh. 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 Hey, beauty. My red comes good again. Oh, one to go. business thanks Will thanks for the beers buddy buddy hit the spot hit the spot good buddy champion something's going on there Shara's got him. Come up. <clears throat> you might have got eaten. Bugger it. <coughs> I think he got eaten. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Had him out of the mouth for a second. And he's back in. for you to break now. Oh, big fella, big fella. Oh, oh, holy dooly. Oh, oh, snap, come on. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, he's right. It's a big hundred kilo shark. I'm not getting that rig back. <sighs> Get out of here, you big brute. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, dear. guys thanks for bloody watching the channel oh, it's, some days it's diamonds 
Some days it's pearls. Some days it's blood, sweat and tears. Can't wait to see us in the next episode. Hopefully it's not as strenuous. I'm buggered. Yeah.